11 o'clock, a new era for high school athletics in North Carolina. Today, the North Carolina Independent School Athletic Association announced a policy starting next school year that will allow student athletes to profit off their name, image and likeness. NIL policies have made plenty of headlines in the collegiate space for years, and now the opportunity is coming to private schools in North Carolina. Before he went out to that breaking news, our Cam Gaskins filed this report earlier tonight. In the rapidly changing landscape of scholastic athletics, the North Carolina Independent School Athletic Association is keeping with the times after today's NIL policy announcement. I want kids to have the best experience they possibly can in high school and beyond. Providence Day head football coach Chad Greer says that if you get paid because of the work you do with kids, you need to be on board with the decisions that help benefit those kids. I think there's a great place for it, and I want uh, I want kids to get all they can. We're not going to facilitate it, but we're not going to get in the way of it. In a Released from the NCISAA, the organization was clear that this NIL money could not come from schools or collectives, and it could not be used as a recruitment tool. It was also clear that certain activities would not be permissible under this policy, and also all deals would have to be disclosed and approved by the association. The North Carolina High School Athletic Association, which oversees the public schools, tried to adopt a similar policy last year, which was ultimately shut down by state lawmakers. No matter how you feel about NIL, it's not going anywhere. So the hope is today's announcement allows for a safe and controlled implementation of this policy in the fall. You never know when it's going to go away. So when you have an opportunity, I mean, you know, I'd like to see kids be able to take advantage of it. Reporting in Charlotte, I'm Cam Gaskins, WBTV on your side.